Young babies, he's a baby's local, he's also been combining clubs and colleges all across the country. Please give it up for your host tonight and your first act, Mr. John Barr. Vegas Showcase, Comedy Showcase, Roman number three, or is it 111? Is it 111? Is it Roman, Roman number three? Is that by Don, Don Barnhart Entertainment? Give Don a big hand. Yeah. Uh, that's it. My name's John Barnes. I'm your host for tonight. Uh, big Al. Everyone give a hand for Big Al back there. Yeah. Big Al is the official mascot of the Orleans Hotel Casino. Not to be confused with the official mascot of the city of New Orleans, which would be a looting rapist, apparently. Something like that. As an alligator. It was five years ago. Five years ago. Uh, it's great to be here tonight. It's great to be here tonight. Um, one question. Is, is Big Al trying his hand at comedy, or did he eat Cato Kaylee? Did anybody see Cato's act? He probably spit him out of here. <laughs> anyway, I had, a, I had a chance to see Kato's act, and I'm beginning to believe that OJ took the easy way out, ladies and gentlemen. Kato's <laughs> <laughs> gone, right? He's out of the way. I can take Kato's shit. OJ, I'm afraid of. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I've been trying to work a little crowd work into my act, so what I've done was I did a little research today on the internet. Uh, some common professions and things like that. So I'm going to throw a couple things out in the crowd, get you guys warmed up a little bit, and then we'll get this thing started, okay? So let's see how this thing goes. Do we have any blacksmiths out in the audience tonight? Is there a blacksmith? A cobbler? Do we have a cobbler here tonight? Any cobblers? How about a buttonhole maker? Not even on a Sunday. That's the last time I use Amish.com for research. I'll tell you that, folks, right now. Son of a bitches. Next time, it's horsedrawn.org for me. That's, uh, that's going to work the best. Uh, let's talk about current events here real quick. Current events. Uh, I think everyone heard about Ryan Dunn. About Ryan Dunn about a month ago. Killed in a tragic car accident. You know, I hate to beat a dead jackass, but this is such a great joke. <laughs> For those of you that aren't familiar with Ryan Dunn, he was uh, one of the stars, he wasn't the star of Jackass, he was on Jackass, a couple movies and a TV show, and uh, if you're familiar with the, the movie, you would know that it's not the first time Ryan Dunn tried to wrap a car around his ass. <laughs> Too soon? I would hope so. Also in the news, uh, bear attacks, did you hear about the bear attacks? Another bear attack up in Alaska this week. About three or four weeks ago, there was a bear attack uh, killing at uh, Yellowstone National Park. Now, this sounds like a tragedy to a lot of people, but uh, the fact that I get to reuse the jokes from about a month ago, I think it's freaking great. I love it. Um, I think, though, that the uh, attacks at Yellowstone, I think they re uh, re uh, reiterate the fact that I'm against the right to arm bears. It's just a bad idea. It hardly ever works out. <laughs> I'm also against the uh, right for bears to tear off the arms of hikers. That usually doesn't come out right. We have hikers here tonight? Hikers? <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, and you know, where is a mall cop when you need him, ladies and gentlemen? A mall cop. <laughs> We're talking about bears. But the bear was said to have been uh, protecting her baby cubs, so they didn't destroy the bear. And when asked for a comment, the bear's response was, I was just looking for the pick of your basket, Mr. Park Ranger. And then I go boom. Oh wait, so that's Jellystone. I always get that mixed up with Yellowstone. Jellystone. Here's my water. <laughs> oh. Who drives a Chrysler here? Anybody drive a Chrysler? No, because they're all walking here, apparently, if they drive a Chrysler. Anybody seen the news again? The Detroit uh, Chrysler auto workers caught on their brakes in the Union parking lot, drinking 40 ounces of beer and smoking pot. Anybody seen that? They weren't just smoking pot either, joints. They had a, a water pipe in the truck. And one of them was driving a Ford, which was probably the biggest crime of all. 
But it's not the first time this happened. And so uh, they, they reached Chrysler to try to get a comment out of Chrysler Corporation. They had no comment, but they have to come out with a uh, special edition Chrysler 300, the Chrysler 420. I don't know if you've heard of this. It's got a couple of cool little uh, special details. Uh, number one, you can get a contact tie from the new car smell. That's kind of cool. It's got a, a special custom cup holder. Holds a 40 ounce of beer and a bag of Doritos. And the cool thing too is the carburetor is actually under the phone on this car. Where my pocket's at? Carburetor under the phone. They have a uh, special navigation system in the car. Who's got navigation out there? Almost everybody now, right? You know how the regular voice for navigation is. It's usually like, uh, turn in 300 feet. Not the one in the Chrysler 420, ladies and gentlemen. This one goes a little something like, dude, just move the turn back there. Speaking of cars, speaking of cars, I read a bumper sticker coming in here tonight. Uh, I love these religious ones. Anybody seen the one that says, my boss is a Jewish carpenter? Anybody seen that? Yeah. What, what does that mean anyway, my boss is a Jewish carpenter? My boss is an Armenian prick, but I'm not driving around with it on the back of my car. Okay? <laughs> and Jewish carpenter, what is that supposed to mean anyway? I don't understand. Does that mean he cuts a lot of corners? <laughs> my shoes at though. But uh, some of the uh, other religious bumper stickers, I love the, uh, you got the uh, Jesus Saves, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Jehovah has a 401k, but nobody's printing up bumper stickers. <laughs> There's, uh, my favorite, I think, is Try Jesus. Have you seen this one? Try Jesus. Didn't the Romans already do this? <laughs> Didn't turn out so well? <laughs> Too soon? <laughs> What else can we talk about, folks? Oh, let's give it up. Father's Day was last month. Father's Day was last month. Give it up for the most underappreciated father in world history. I'm talking about Joseph, husband of Mary, father of Jesus. Give it up for Joseph, everyone. It's Sunday. Give it up. He's had a rough time of it, you know. He's had a rough time of it. You know, uh, it's probably tough for Joseph around his buddies, you know. You know, guys, how it is when you make a new purchase. And you want to show your buddies, kind of want to show it off. Could have been fun for Joseph, right? Getting a snicker and stuff from his friends. Be like, uh, say, fellas, uh, how do you like my new ox? She's in fine shape, and I only paid three shekels. <laughs> his buddies are like, yes, Joseph, it's, it's a very nice ox. Only plowed once? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Joseph, uh, I like it too. Uh, it's in very fine shape. Dare I say, immaculate? <laughs> Divine, perhaps, Joseph. Uh, speaking of uh, religion, I was reading the Bible this morning. <laughs> well, they were given away at the hotel, so I was reading the Bible this morning, and I came across the book of Leviticus. And for those of you that aren't familiar with the book of Leviticus, and by the looks on your faces, I'm going to refresh your memory. Basically, the book of, Le of Leviticus says that it's better for the seed of a man to fall on the belly of a whore than fall on the ground. Now this brings three thoughts to my mind here. Number one being, maybe the Bible deserves a second look. <laughs> second thought comes to mind is, how can I sell this at home to the wife? <laughs> Baby, you know what Leviticus said? And then the third thing is, okay, instead of seed on the belly of a whore, is a face shot acceptable? Can we do that? Is that is there things I need to know? Is there things I need to know? Anybody raising kids in Las Vegas? Fun stuff, isn't it? Fun stuff. I've got a nine-year-old and a nine-month-old, and uh, it, it's, there's certain things about Las Vegas that are a little more difficult probably than the rest of the country. I know my son's school is broke. You probably heard the uh, state of Nevada is broke. My son's school is broke. So the Orleans and the boy group has kicked in to help out with school supplies. And uh, give it up for the Orleans. Yeah. They kicked in with the school supplies. The only thing is that now the kids are doing all their schoolwork on 
uh, with the Kino crayons and those little and pencils from the sports book. So that's the only downfall. But the, 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 uh, the good thing is the first graders are now learning fractions already from the half point parlay cards. And the kind kindergartners are uh, handicapped on the horses. Well, that is my time, ladies and gentlemen. Let me bring up for you the next couple. The great guy, uh, we've gotten to know him very well over the last couple months. And uh, please put your hands together for Christopher Michael.